Hey, what's up everyone? In this video, we're going to find the direction cosines of this vector here, um, u. So kind of a, a strange thing to do direction cosines, uh, not something you see in all math classes. Um, let's go ahead and do it. Let me show you how to do this. So basically there's a formula. So before we use the formula though, let's write this in component form. So solution. So in component form, we can write u as follows, right? So there's a one in front of the i-hat, so it's one. So that's the first step, right? Is you want to think of it like this. And then there's an eight here. Okay, and then there's a four here. So first step, whenever you're doing these direction cosine problems, is if it's not an already in component form, um, do this, okay? And then this is really like your u1 here, and this is your u2, and this is your u3, okay? So the formula for the direction cosines uh, is the following. So the cosine of alpha, okay, the cosine of alpha, is going to be um, u1 over the magnitude of the vector u. Okay, so we'll have to find the magnitude, okay? That'll be um, the first uh, direction cosine. And then the other one will be the cosine of beta, and it'll be u2 over the magnitude of u, right? That's the second direction cosine. And the last one will be cosine of the beautiful Greek letter gamma, I love Greek letters, uh, u3 over the magnitude of u. Good stuff. All right, so all we got to do now is figure out um, these magnitudes, and we got this, right? We just plug everything in, and we have the direction cosines. The alpha, the beta, and the gamma are called um, direction angles, right? They're the angles between uh, u and each of the corresponding unit vectors. So like the angle between uh, u and i hat, the angle between u and um, j hat, the angle between u and k hat, that would be that would be gamma. Okay, so we just have to find the magnitude of u. I haven't done this before, I don't have a calculator with me, so lots of fun. <laughs> so magnitude of u, square root, let's see, you square root of the components, right? So one squared, which is, uh, I'll, I'll write one squared, plus eight squared, okay, plus eight squared plus four squared, so, all right, so this is going to be a uh, square root of a uh, one, one, eight squared is 64, and then uh, four squared is 16, right, 16, oh, happy day, happy day, this is gonna be, this is gonna be, uh, oh, I don't mess up, 81, right, because it's 16 plus 64, that's 80, right, yeah, 80, square to 81, which is nine, so good, sometimes stuff just works out so nice, right, so, so nine, so this will be one ninth, oh, that's beautiful. And this will be, um, let's see, uh, eight ninths, <laughs> sidetracked. Uh, and then this will be, cosine gamma uh, would be, um, I guess that would be four ninths, so four ninths. Now if you wanted the direction angles, uh, all you would have to do is put this in your, you put the following in your calculator, I'll show you. So the cosine of alpha is equal to that, right? So what you do is then alpha is equal to the inverse cosine of one ninth. So that's the first direction angle. You put that in your calculator and usually it's radians, usually you want radians. Same thing here for beta, that would be your other direction angle, that's not what the problem wants, right? These are the cosines, so we're done. Um, it would be cosine inverse of eight ninths, right? That would be your other direction angle. And then the other one, a gamma, would be cosine inverse of uh, four ninths. These would be your, your direction angles, right? And these are your direction cosines. So that's it, that's how you find the direction cosines. So step one, put it into component form, right? And then um, these are the formulas and that's it, take care.